in a little bit of situation, man. Duramax broke down about two hours from the drop off. We're about three hours and 23 minutes to my truck. Y'all, we in the middle of nowhere. That's where we at. Right now, yeah, exactly. Finally made a job. We made it. up YouTube it's the next morning man and now we're on our way to take the the round back and we got a lot of stuff we got a lot of stuff to do today um, since this trip was really last minute uh, I got an old school colors I got to paint today and they were supposed to be painted on Friday so I got an old school colors I got to paint today I got to get the white Duramax over to the shop I got to tow it to the shop so I can get it looked at to see if it's worth fixing or we're just going to sell it and go buy a new truck. So, um, last night, I know the last clip was a little dark. You guys couldn't see anything. Um, ran into a couple of issues with the truck. The, the new one I just bought, I won't be able to drive it as quickly as I thought. Uh, one of the things is the title delayed. We went when we picked it up at the auction. Uh, the lady, the lady at the front office said they had, they still haven't received the title yet. And as soon as they get it, they will FedEx, FedEx it to me. So I can't tag it right now. And the second thing is, it seems like the engine is was well, three things. The second thing is, it seems like the engine is leaking from uh, the valve covers. That motor is dirty as crap, man. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it doesn't make any sense of how bad the engine is that, is, as dirty as it is. And we're going to take some engine cleaner, some gunk, and we're going to spray the whole engine down, and we're going to pressure wash the whole engine down, and then we're going to drive it, and if it's leaking, because right now it's so much gunk, oil, dirt, whatever it is, built up around the motor you can't even tell if it's leaking or where it's leaking from so we're going to clean the motor off get it looking brand spanking new and then we're going to drive it and see if it has any leaks around uh the valve covers or any leaks period uh, the third thing is at some point between i guess if it was at the shop or the custom or the or the previous owner or at the insurance, or hell, the previous owner could have done it, but they cut the valve, they cut the Cadillac converters out. So the truck has no Cadillac converters. So, and the battery is like dead, dead, which is that's normal at the auction. If you buy any cars at the auction, dead batteries, that's 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 normal. So I was expecting a, a, a dead battery. So we got to get a new battery. Got to get it towed to the muffler shop and. Um, we're not going to put the Cadillac converters back on. We're just going to run some pipe in between where the Cadillac converters were. Uh, I'm going to get that fixed, and we're going to pressure wash the engine. And what's going on, YouTube? I think I give you guys a walk around of this truck. You know what I said in the last clip, but I figured the least I can do is uh, give you guys a walk around of the truck. Ain't no point in me trying to crank it. 
because um, the battery is dead, 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 dead. I gotta go get a new battery. So, um, it looks like a clean truck, man. They rigged it up, but rigged a few customization parts on it, but it looks like crap. But hey, man, I'm gonna change it. So, show you guys what it look like. Y'all, I can't believe it that this is like the first truck I didn't got that the interior is not nasty, destroyed, or look like crap. Now, this armrest here is broke. But if y'all know these trucks, all of them are like that. These are very popular of very common of being broke because you when you're trying to get out the truck you lean on it with your arm and it breaks it off back here so but this shit right here man this gotta go this right here that they use wood screws this gotta go this right here is okay if I decide to keep this, I'm getting rid of the wood grain and I'm going to paint it black. Might do something right here that lights up my logo or something. We replace this with a plexiglass with my Spray by B logo. So if I keep this, I'm definitely painting this. I'll probably get rid of this old ass door and just keep it open up there. But I'm thinking about keeping that, but definitely getting rid of the old... 90 style wood grain Now let me show you guys how old how, how not how old but How dirty this hood looks This engine looks Now this don't make no sense Now you see all the gunk it's up in there and up in here. Which is making me think that it's leaking from the uh, valve covers. Look, look at all that gunk, man. Ugh. So. And the power steering isn't working, so I'm actually gonna go get a battery, get my mechanic to check, get my mechanic to check out the power steering, and try to take it to the muffler shop tomorrow. But I give you guys a walk around. It's a nice truck. Nice, nice little bag project. It's in good shape. interior is clean which you guys know I normally don't get them this clean but definitely gonna need new carpet but I'm actually going daily this until I get my other projects done like I said I don't want to bag this right now until my vert and my caprice done so I'm gonna just collect parts and daily it until I get my other projects done and I get um, all my parts here but we're still going to do work to it as I drive it so alright you two we got some stuff we're going to clean this off with We got the heavy duty gel which is for grease and oil and then we got the foamy which is for dirt dirt dust and roll ground so we're gonna do this first then come back with that one <clears throat> Damn, 
I showed him, see that top open. Make sure it's not open. You close, you put the top back on? Uh -huh. Put the power steering fluid in there. Man, that job was bone dry. There you go. Ooh. Put this back in there. All right. Yeah. Only thing about it, you got to do it with the engine off and you got to let it sit overnight after you rinse it off. Yeah. But this one for dirt and the other one is for grease. What the truck is i got fog lights for this truck i had bought them for the gray truck right there and never put them on i think i got the lower valence too i think it's in the back room well, that's it All right, so I'm gonna let this sit. I'm gonna plug up the pressure washer. And then we gonna pressure wash it off. And then we are gonna do the heavy duty grease. So, see y'all in a minute. All right, YouTube. We got all the, the dirt and stuff off the truck. I guess this truck used to be white due to the engine bay being white. And they painted it black, so. Black is my favorite color, so win-win. 5-3, already black. But when we bag it, we're going to have to put, put a different color on it, man. Anyway, all right. Let's move on to the heavy duty. Let's get some of this grease off of it. It's starting to look like a new truck already. Oh man, I broke the top, y'all. Hang on, trying to take it off with one hand. <sighs> See this work? Damn man. Let me see if I can find the top, y'all. We be back. This this one ain't working. Be right back. Ah, be right back. All right, now we're shooting like we're supposed to be. Get all this oil from around these valve covers. It was low in power steering fluid too. So I want to make sure I clean everything with the power steering hoses, 
the pump because with the power steering fluid being empty it could have a leak too so just trying to clean everything off so I can see what all leaks it has it might have or might not have so we can fix them Then we're not even gonna try to start it. We're just gonna let it sit overnight, air dry. And then, actually had to get a battery. Uh, got the battery out the work van since the transmission went out. So we're not gonna be in the work van anytime soon. Until we get the transmission rebuilt, so. We borrowed the battery from the van to save a couple dollars. But if everything goes right, we'll be going to the muffler shop tomorrow to fix that. And uh, next is the tent of windows. <sighs> All right, YouTube, let's enter this can. We're going to let this sit for about 15 minutes like the last bottle. Then we'll come back and rinse it off and that'll be it until tomorrow after we rinse it off we're gonna let it sit till tomorrow morning and then drive it to the muffler shop get that fixed and then go from there man we're just gonna wing it man we're just gonna wing it so all right see y'all back in it's gonna be about 15 20 minutes for me about a second from y'all so see y'all in about a a millisecond, I guess you could say. All right, YouTube. I know you guys can't see nothing. I let the dark beat me, but I ended up letting it sit for about 30 minutes. And uh, cause I really wanted to get all the grease out from around the valve covers. So I let it sit a little bit longer than 15 minutes. And um, I don't have my phone, well, no. So, this is where it will sit overnight. We'll come back in the morning. I'll show you guys what it looked like in the morning when it's sun dried out. Already looks 20 times better than what it did. Looks like a brand new engine. Um, so, tomorrow we're going to let it sit overnight. Tonight we're going to let it sit overnight. And tomorrow we'll come show you guys the after the engine bay. And then we're gonna take it to the muffler shop. But oh, you got your phone light, you got your light on. There you go. The boy showed up with the light. Come on this side, man. Look at the colors. Oh hell yeah. You can see the I think I need to do it one more time. You can still see gunk shit back there. Yeah, this shit was dirty as hell. Shit, the goddamn uh these look new. Yeah, they don't look new now. I think we'll do it one more time with the grease and get back there and print rinse, rinse it one more time. But it came, a lot of it came off. You got some more grease? No, nah, I used the whole can on it. You gonna go get some more? No, nah, I just do it tomorrow. I'm gonna get it to that muffler shop. All right, see y'all tomorrow. The next day.
going on YouTube? All right, so the last little clips you saw was <clears throat> at the muffler shop. I thought I was just going to be able to. I knew the converters was cut out. The one on the driver's side was was missing, and they tried to get the one on the passenger side. They was able to make one little slice, but it was still connected to the side that goes up to the manifold. And the flow master was completely blown out, as you guys saw in the previous clips. So I ended up having to buy um, full exhaust. I just went from the manifold um, to some Super 10 flow masters and some turn downs right before the rear end because we bagging the truck so i didn't want to go over the rear end and have to cut the muffler so i just went ahead and got it cut out at the rear end so uh we won't have to worry about that once we bag it but kind of give you guys a it sounds pretty good don't sound nothing like my tahoe but it sounds good Sounds good when you first crank it up. Let's see it again. And another thing that we gotta fix is the power steering. Um, <clears throat> it's got a it's got a mist to it. It's got a small little mist to it. So we're gonna do new spark plugs, new coil packs, um, new wires, and transmission has a little slip going into second but when we checked the fluid it was real low it was bone dry so i think i need to add we put three quarts in it it started driving fine but i think i need to add maybe one or two more and i think that'll fix that problem but the main thing i need to fix now is the power steering um as soon as you put fluid in it it might last about four or five miles and it leaks out so that's what we're going to do now. I'm just waiting on my mechanic to get back to let me know what part is leaking. Is it the pump itself or is it one of the lines or is it both of them or is it all three? And we're going to get that fixed um, here today as soon as he get back. So, all right, YouTube. Um, that's it on part three. <clears throat> part four, man, we'll pick up on the power steering, the tune-up and uh um, definitely got to get a windshield man this damn crack is right in front of my face and it's annoying as hell so part four man we're gonna finish finish up the little minor maintenance and minor fixes to it and uh just just keep it going man so all right you two that's it for part three and uh stay tuned to part four till we continue these minor fixes so Subscribe and see what I do next.